We're going to do a second example here. Again, we're going to convert from the vertex form uh, of a quadratic equation, and we're going to find out as much information as we can about it, and then we'll convert it into standard form and then into vertex form. So again, anytime you've got a vertex form of a quadratic equation, you should always indicate what your AHK values are. So my A value is 2, my H value is positive 5, and my K value is actually negative 18. So that tells me that my vertex, which is always at the at HK, so my vertex is at positive 5, negative 18. My axis of symmetry is going to be when X is equal to 5. Uh, my direction of opening is going to be up because my A value is positive 2. That means that it's going to have a minimum value. And my minimum or maximum value is actually going to be when the y value is neg excuse me, negative 18, and my step is actually going to be 2. Okay. So most of my information, again, is found out of the vertex form of the equation, but not all of it. So we actually have to convert from vertex form into standard form. And so I'm going to do that here with the blue. So again, I've got, uh, I have a binomial in the middle, and so what I need to do so I actually need to multiply that all the way through. So I'm going to do 2 times x minus 5 times x minus 5 minus 18. So when I apply my FOIL pattern, that's going to leave me with x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25, and then minus 18. I'm going to collect my like terms that are in the middle there. So this is going to give me x squared minus 10x plus 25, and minus 18. Now, when your a value is something other than positive 1, then you actually have to multiply everything that's in the brackets by the coefficient out in front. So x squared minus 10x plus 25, that's all in brackets, and the coefficient is 2 in the middle. So we're going to multiply each one of those three terms by 2. So that's going to leave us with 2x squared minus 20x plus 50. So now that we've eliminated the brackets by multiplying through, um, we can complete this piece by just, again, collecting our like terms. So y is going to equal 2x squared minus 20x. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be, I want to say 32, but let's quickly verify. 18 or 15 minus 18 is, in fact, 32. So now we're good. So what this has done, is this gives us the equation in standard form. And from standard form of the equation, we can always figure out what the y-intercept is. So our y-intercept is that positive 32. So, y uh, so standard form lets us know that the y-intercept is going to be positive 32. But we still need to get our zeros, okay? And we haven't done that yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert from standard form into vertex form. So if I want to convert this into vertex form, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my original equation of 2x squared minus 20x plus 32. And you notice here that the a value is something other than 1. It's, in fact, uh, positive 2. So I have to divide every single piece here by 2. And so that 2 is going to carry down. So I'm going to end up with y is equal to 2 times x squared minus 10x plus 16. Okay. And so now I need to go through and I need to figure out and factor out the trinomial that's in the middle. So I'm going to use my MA chart. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 16, but that add together to negative 10. So 1 and 16 multiply to or add to positive 17. 
2 and 8 multiply to 16, but they add to positive 10. But negative 2 and negative 8, they multiply to positive 16, but when I add them together, they add to negative 10. So my factored form of the equation is going to be x minus 2 times, or 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 8. Okay, so now I have the factored form of the equation, and given the factored form of the equation, it will let us know what the zeros are. So the zeros are actually positive 2 and positive 8. Okay. So if I go back, I can fill out the rest of this. So 2 and 8. Okay. So that's a, a very useful uh, thing to be able to have, being able to use and convert from vertex form into st standard form to get your y-intercept, and from standard form back into uh, or into factored form so that you can get your zeros.